but if you imagine again you've knocked everything down and then this piles in this way. Now this arm just dangles, forget about that. Look at the floor down there. As you're looking at the floor, this hand comes up to protect the side of your face just in case. So you basically got this bit that's landed, so you've got very little chance of damaging yourself, which is the way it's called part of it. You know. So as this comes in here, now that's this bit covered, so that you know that you're not going to hurt yourself. So even if you just do that, you're not hurting yourself on your arms. So the next thing to do now is to get your body weight to go into him. Now if you imagine um, like a bendy stick or something like that, or a strong spring, and it's stuck to the floor here, and you peeled it back this way so it bent, and then it was really wanted to go, and you just let go and get peeled across. That's basically what you're going to do with your body. So you're going to get your body to go towards it, ping, it's anchored, and then your whole body just goes back and straight into it. You understand what I mean? You don't care about um, what it looks like, you don't care about the aesthetics of it. All you're looking to do is get as much of your body weight as possible to go flying into here. Again, with control of your own balance, so you don't just go ping my hand if you miss, you go flying over. But you go down towards him and keep going, so you're got everything going that way, straight at him, so you can then follow up. So that after you have hit, you immediately are then following up if you have to. Yeah? So, what you're going to do is practice the movement first without actually hitting, hitting this. So that you get the feel for it right, so you don't damage yourself when you hit it, because these are quite hard, you might not be used to them. And if you hit it incorrectly, you can hurt yourself. It's the beginning of the sound, oh, we don't want anybody there again. So, just come up to here and just touch like that. And just come in like this. Get the feel for it. The guy holding the pad will say, you know, if I'm looking at him, you'll go to me, no, no, you're looking at me, you know, you're going to hurt yourself, that sort of thing. So make sure you just look at the floor and just do this. And things like, yeah. That feels nice and natural, you know, and it's nice and easy, it's nice and relaxed. So it's here like that, get a feel for that, and then tell the guy when you're going to hit him, because the, <laughs> the impact is a bit more, so I'm going to just do a little one. So, for me, he's just relax and then nice bang, and then you follow up with whatever you want to do after that. <coughs> okay? Got that? <laughs> <laughs> Do the hit first and ask for the back. 